Hello everyone, welcome to Online Math TV. Here we have a system of exponential equation and the question, it looks a bit rhetorical but very easy. Now let's go to the board and see what do we have here. So the question reads, bracket open 3 to the power of x minus 2, 7 bracket plus to the power of 2, okay, plus bracket open 5 to the power of s minus 6, 2, 5 close bracket to the power of 2 equal to bracket open 3 to the power of s minus 2, 7 plus 5 to the power of s minus 6, 2, 5 to the close bracket to the power of 2. So how do we handle this? Very easy. Now, before we go into this challenge, if you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop answer video. Because at Online Mass TV, we drop wonderful videos all the time. Now, let's go to the board and see what this gives us in time. So, we're looking for the value of x. So, take our solution. Solution. We pull down the question. So, again, we have 3 to the power of s minus 2, 7, close bracket, or to the power of 2, plus bracket 18, 5 to the power of x, then minus 6, 2, 5, close bracket to the power of 2, equal to bracket open to the 3 to the power of s minus 2, 7, plus here, uh, 5, out to the power of s minus c two five close bracket r to the power of two. Now, if you look at this uh, system of exponential equation, you discover a little recurrence of terms. Okay, you discover that what we have here is also here. Then this term here is also here. So we can bring in another alphabet to represent this and this. So here we cannot say let your 3 to the power of s minus 27 be equal to your m and your 5 to the power of s minus 6 to 5 be equal to n. Okay, so with this in mind, then we cannot rewrite the whole of this expression here. This will give us, or this now implies your m squared because the whole of this is what we have here, and it's raised to power 2. So we have m squared plus, here we have n. So n squared equal to bracket open. Then the whole of this is m, then plus then the whole of this n. Close bracket, r squared. Crystal. Okay, so the lengthy expression has been reduced to uh, this uh, format now. So what do we do? Now we have to open up this. Now remember your identity, okay? Your algebraic identity, we say that if you have your a um, plus b r squared, this is equal to your a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Okay, now if we succumb to this identity, we can rewrite the left-hand side of our equation. So rewriting this, we're going to have this to be your m squared plus n squared equal to your m squared plus 2mn plus n squared. Very easy. All we need to do is just to collect our light terms now. Bring this term to this side, bring this n term to this other side. So if we do that, we're going to have here m squared minus m squared. Because this crosses the sign of equality, we have invisible plus, so it turns to minus. The plus our n here, which is n squared, the minus, bring this down to give us a n squared, equal to your 2mn. And so this, we go with this, and this, we go with this. Therefore, we now have our 0 equal to your 2mn. Very easy. Okay, so from this expression, if we are to make m the subject of the formula, then we are going to have m equal to zero. And if we are to make n the subject of the formula, we are going to have n equals to zero. So therefore, we now have m is equal to zero and n is equal to zero. Okay, but recall at the beginning, we don't have n and m in our system. 
So we now go back to where we said, let 3 to the power of s minus 27 be n, and 5 to the power of s minus 625 to be n. So we now look for the value of s from here. So we now say recall, we recall case 1, case 1, we have our 3 to the power of x minus 27 equal to our m. So m is 0 like we said before, so this is equal to 0. So send this 27 to this other side, we now have 3 to the power of x equal to 27. Now, look at the x we're looking for, it's at the exponent. So we think of bringing this same base here. So if we put in 3 here, can we raise it to any number to give us 27? Yes. So 3 to the power of 3 will give us 27. So we can rewrite this as 3 to the power of x equal to 3 to the power of uh, 3. So the bases are the same. So they will take care of themselves. And we cannot equate the exponent. Again, let's proceed from here. So if we equate the exponent, we are going to have here, therefore our test x is equal to 3. Easy. So let's take our case 2. Case 2 says 5. So we have here case 2. We have 5 to the power of x, then minus 6 to 5 equal to n. Again, our n is equal to what? 0 from here. So let's put that here. So we have 5 to the power of x minus 6 to 5 equal to 0. Collecting your light terms, we have here 5 to the power of s equal to 6 to 5. We consider this base number at the um, left-hand side. So we can express this in base 5. And that will give us 5 to the power of 4. So we can now rewrite this as 5 to the power of x equal to 5 to the power of 4. Again, the basis we cancel out and we equate the exponent. So we now have x is equal to 4. Okay, so this is the second value for our s. Now, if you look at the system of our exponential equation, we have the highest power of the variable to be 2, 2, 2. And so we are expected to solve for two values. So we have x1 is equal to 3 and s2 equal to 4. So we cannot conclude that therefore our x1 equal to 3 and uh, x2 uh, is equal to 4. All right. So these are the two possible values of s from these expressions that will satisfy these our exponential equation. Okay. So that is all I have for you for today. If you learn something from this a simple exponential challenge, drop it in the comment section. If you are not clear in the process of the uh, solving, also drop it in the comment section. Or you have a better way of solving this, drop it also in the comment section. Then you like what is going on here, give the video a thumbs up. Okay? Now remember, this is all I must TV. And my name is Jakes Anemo. Remember, I love you. And everyone at All I Must TV loves you so much. Thanks again for always be there. Bye for now.